Yo, what it do, wealth champions? It is your main man, H. Cortez, the one and only financial health mentor, everybody's favorite father for new coming to you live and direct from myfamilyempire.com with the daily hustle, man. Y'all know I'm trying to uplift, encourage, motivate, and help you get your day started out right. Today's daily hustle, November 26th. I believe today is a Tuesday, right? It's all about discipline and commitment. Guys, my simple definition of discipline is doing what you know needs to be done, especially when you don't feel like doing it or you're tempted to do otherwise, right? Doing what you know needs to be done, especially when you don't feel like doing it or you're tempted to do otherwise. Guys, y'all know what it is, man. I try to have these uh, daily hustles up and posted for you by 5.30 a.m. every morning, right? I record them every morning uh, fresh. These are not pre-recorded and I just load them and I change shirts. No, I record them every morning. How many of you guys know that every morning I am tempted to do something different every morning. I don't particularly feel like getting up to prepare these daily hustles, right? I'm tempted to stay in the bed and sleep in, right? But I know that, let, let me give you, let, this is my, my confession, right? The daily hustle is more for me than it is for you. Right now, I'm a content marker, and I love to uplift, encourage, and motivate people. I love to put out good content. In the world, it seems like negativity just abounds everywhere. I love trying to be a light shining in that darkness. But you know the real selfish reason that I do the Daily Hustle? is because when I study books like, um, I don't have... I thought I had my um, millionaire next door right at my fingertips, but I don't. But when I study wealthy people, I understand that wealthy people, not all of them, but most of them wake up between 4.30 and 5 o'clock every morning, some even earlier than that, right? And I needed a reason to force myself to get up earlier and start my day earlier. And I Ed, if I do uh, a daily piece of content early in the morning, then once I say I'm going to do something, I try to stick to it. So I started the daily hustle once before, and it didn't last long. And I had to rethink it and I said, no, this is it. I need to put out daily content. And before my day gets away from me, the best thing for me to do is to do it daily early in the morning. And that's going to force me to get up each and every morning between 4.30 and 4.45 a.m. And I come in and I do the daily hustle for you guys. So yes, it is for you, but it is also for me. See, I use something called forced accountability. And you guys, believe it or not, are all my accountability partners, right? Because the day that I don't show up with a daily hustle, Somebody's going to get in my inbox and say, bro, what's up? Where were you this morning? <laughs> right? So discipline is doing what you know needs to be done. Anybody can do what needs to be done when they feel like doing it, when they're excited, when they're amped up, when they're pumped up. But what about when you don't feel like doing it or when you're tempted to do otherwise? tempted to sleep in this morning. Oh, uh, you know, it's a Tuesday. Uh, Thanksgiving is in a couple of days. People will understand if I don't show up. Yeah, but what about me trying to be wealthy? What about me creating a habit that wealthy people have? See, when I don't feel like doing it and I'm tempted to do otherwise, that's when I got to go harder to get it done. Well, let's talk commitment, right? See, commitment is discipline sustained. Commitment is discipline sustained. They say commitment is 
doing what you said you were going to do, long as the feeling that you had when you were saying this has dissipated. Right? How many of you guys have committed to something when you were excited? You committed to something where you were pumped up. You committed to something where you were overjoyed. You were happy. You committed to something while you were in a space of euphoria. Well, guess what? Those feelings don't last forever. Right? Are you still committed when the feelings that you were experienced at the time you made the commitment, when those feelings are gone, are you still committed? <laughs> See, commitment is discipline sustained, right? Said I was gonna do the daily hustle. Now, I'm not gonna do it forever, but I do need to do it long enough to establish the habit of getting up every morning, at least Monday through Friday, between 4.30 and 4.45, every morning, right? And to be clear and honest, it has caused a level of increase in my business by starting my day off early, by starting my day off on a positive note, by starting my day off giving of myself to you, it has been nothing but a blessing. So I want you to think about um, where you are on the level of discipline and especially self-discipline because it comes a point in time where you can't count on anybody to crack the whip behind you and get you to take action. That has to come from a fire that is burning inside of you. I yearn so badly to create and leave a legacy for my family that I study wealthy people. And when you study wealthy people, you find that they have habits that poor and middle class people do not. So I start to implement the habits that those people have. So you got to become what you want to become first in your mind. Then you do the things that those have gone before you who you are trying to imitate. You do the things that they have done, not that they are doing. You do the things that they have done, and then you will ultimately have what they have. Be, do, have, become. See, I've become wealthy already here. Now I have to execute on doing the, the, the habits that wealthy people did to build their wealth. I don't do what wealthy people are doing now that they've already become wealthy. I go back to what they were doing when they were ascending up the ladder to become wealthy. Those are the habits that I want to have. Now, when I get there, I'll start doing the habits that they currently have to maintain their wealth, to grow their wealth, to pass that wealth down to the next generation without Uncle Sam getting his hand on it. So do you need to do something where you put yourself in position where you are being forced to be held accountable like a daily uh, post, a daily stream, a daily something, right? Maybe you are. Do you need to work on your commitment, your discipline sustained, right? Continuing to do what needs to be done long after the feeling that you had when you said you were gonna do it, has dissipated. Man, I hope this helped y'all this morning. If it has, do me a huge favor. I want you to hit the like button on this page first, trying to reach 100,000 likes before the end of the year. So like the page. If you are on YouTube, then hit the subscribe button, turn on the bell notification. Uh, and then go ahead and hit the share button, man. Share this with somebody. There's a lot of people who struggle with discipline and commitment. Um, and believe it or not, because a lot of people just don't know what that means right? So hopefully my simple definition has made some sense to you. Also, if you, my friend, are looking to build generational wealth, <coughs> excuse me, and you don't quite know how to do that, you don't know where to start, I'll give you a hint. Start with myfamilyempire.com. Go download a free copy of my ebook and you'll learn the six money killers keeping you broke no matter how hard you work. And then
then check out the instant pay raise video. It'll help you understand how you can overcome in a strategy that can literally get you an instant pay raise in the next seven to 10 days. So you might want to check that out. So I appreciate you guys always tuning in and rocking with your boy. Until I talk to y'all tomorrow, I want you to get your money up because you absolutely can do it. But more importantly, you deserve to do it each and every single one of you. I hustle up.